What is going on YouTube? I am Lamont at Large coming to you from Park Hill Cemetery with a very special guest with me. This is Bama Mike, a YouTuber extraordinaire. He has a YouTube channel, does a little bit of true crime, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. The link will be in the description box below. Today, we are here to visit the graves of the Curry family. This is the graves of the Curry family. And on August the 29th of 1985, they were murdered by their husband and father with a bush axe. And uh, originally, he said that he walked in and found them like that. And the case went cold for 24 years until a new DA came into office and reopened the case, tested DNA, and eventually found new evidence to try and convict their father and husband, Michael Curry, of killing them. Do you know what the sentence was that he got? Six life sentences. He got six life sentences. Yes. And now you were saying before how uh, after he killed his family, because usually when you bludgeon and kill somebody like that, you're going to leave DNA evidence of, of some kind. But I guess... In 1985, maybe possibly they didn't have the technology or they just didn't find anything? I guess they didn't have the technology um, because this new DA came in and tested the, the, the DNA from the crime scene and was able to convict him pretty easily. At the same time he did it, they or afterwards they found out that at the time he killed them, he actually had a girlfriend. He was seeing a co-worker of his on the side and I guess they believe that's why he killed him. This reminds me of the Chris Watts case, and you know you do have you do have a video that was very popular on YouTube where you talked about that case, yeah. and you didn't realize at the time when you made that video about the uh, about the Watts uh, family that uh, it would that your video would get no, so many views. No, it, it was very early on when I filmed it. I just heard the story and was like, I can't believe it, and I filmed it, and it it had a lot of views. It took off. Yeah, it, it's very similar. The the same thing. The husband killed the wife, and the, the wife was eight months pregnant. And the same thing in the Chris so, Watts case. Yeah, same thing with Chris she, Watts. She yeah, was, she was pregnant, and she had they had two little girls. Is this is is the Chris Watts video that you uploaded on your channel? Is that what kind of got you into doing more like true crime? It, that was one of the first true crime videos I did. Yeah. What do you think possesses a man to to murder his family? I mean, what's your opinion about it? He has to be crazy in his head. So two years after he killed him. Supposedly, he got engaged to another woman, and she said just randomly during a normal conversation, he jumped on her and attacked her with a staple gun and threatened to kill her. Uh, that leads me to believe that he had something going on in his head that ultimately he killed him because he was nuts or something. Yeah, just a, a screw loose and, uh, you know, to, to take an axe to a, 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 a two babies practically. Yeah. And he knew he decapitated his wife. Uh, and and I, I find it so odd how it took so long to finally bring this man to justice. Because we all knew the cops knew exactly who killed him. Yeah. They I suspected mean, it, him all along, but they couldn't prove it. It's pretty textbook. You know, the w when a family like this gets murdered, you're going to always be the suspect when you're the husband. And rightfully so, because more times than not... They're actually the ones. Family annihilator. Yeah, when when a lot of more times than not, when somebody gets murdered, it's by a very close friend or a relative. Yeah. So. His his kids were only one and four too, man. Yeah, there are babies. Even that much worse. A one, a one year old little boy. That is, uh, I don't know why he was uh, unable to get the death penalty because that is a death penalty case, if I've ever heard of one. I I, I think he pled out or something. I'm not sure. Okay, well, uh, rest in peace to the Curry family, and uh, eerily similar to uh, the Chris Watts case. If it, anybody out there uh, has any uh, interest in the Watts case or, or videos like this, please check out Baba Mike's channel uh, where he gets into uh, detail of the case. Uh, did you end up going to the Watts house by any? Yeah, I flew all the way up to Colorado. And I'll tell you the difference between this one and that one is Chris Watts was just like a normal guy. I mean, he he was yeah he was cheating on his wife and he wanted her as, you know, to he wanted the side chick and so that's why he killed his family. But it wasn't like he was crazy as far as they could tell. I mean, he was completely sane. He was just a normal guy. So it, that that case is even more intriguing than this one. 
Okay, cool. Uh, I will put a link to that video in the description box uh, below if you guys want to check that out. Okay, thank you for your time, Bama Mike. Appreciate you. It was good meeting you. And uh, make sure you guys hit that man's channel. Uh, show him some love. All right, guys, guys we are out of here. We will catch up with you on the next vlog, or at least I will. Uh, see you guys later. Peace out.